Speaking of all things technology, Facebook is planning to launch its own online TV service. It might be a tiered service so that uh, you pay no matter the point for basic scale down service all the way up to all TV all the time, unlimited uh, messages and all within the system. You name it, Facebook, again, uh, in and out of all-time highs itself, up about a third of a percent right now. It's been an aggressive run-up. To Mashable Chief Correspondent Lance Yulanoffa, we've also got Market Watcher Gary Kalpa. Um, Lance, you first on, on the Apple and, and Facebook thing taken together. They are two sides of the same sort of soaring technology coin. Is this getting a little too aggressive, too soaring to you? Oh, no, no. There's tremendous opportunity, and obviously it's interesting you talk about the two companies. Both of them are looking really hard at video content, at streaming video content. We know Apple is uh, potentially looking at something like Apple Studios, and Facebook's looking at something like Facebook Studios. Uh, and Facebook, these two companies happen to be in leadership positions. You know, uh, people love the iPhone, and people apparently love the Facebook service. What is it now? At two billion, nearly two billion monthly active users. That is a huge market opportunity, especially when it comes to streaming video, which by 2020, 21 is going to be like a 70 billion dollar market. They want to be in there. Wow. Um, Gary, would you buy either of these stocks right now at these levels? Uh, well, first off, uh, my biggest position is Apple. I've had it for a while, so good. Uh, I don't own any Facebook, and I'm not sure I'd it's buy it right It's not getting too nosebleedy for you. Um, it, oh, it is, but uh, look, I'm a big believer in, on the market itself, and they're both acting great. But uh, for me, I need pullbacks right now because it seems the market's getting narrower, and a lot of the big money that's not working is, is just piling into some of these uh, few areas right now. You know, Lance, looking at this technology here, it's dominated by some of the big names. We talk about Alphabet, we talk about Amazon, certainly Apple, Facebook. Take those names out of the, uh, of the equation, though. You know, that's. 60% of your run-up and in just the, the, the tech portion of the S&P uh, itself and the S&P technology index. Is that a little too tilted to you? Uh, look, you know, you've got these companies that have created a leadership position uh, like Amazon, like Facebook, like Apple that uh, are going to go faster. You know, now is the time for them to strike because they have the momentum, uh, they have the technology. But, you know, we're looking at you know, companies like Microsoft making a lot of noise, uh, starting to get a lot of attention for products like the Surface, the Surface laptop. I'm actually right. heading out to Seattle this week to hear what Microsoft has up its sleeves. So, uh, you know, there's actually a lot to go around here. And I think that uh, you know we have the leaders up there who are going faster but oftentimes that creates opportunity for new companies coming in at the bottom you know uh, Gary uh, this market has run fast and furious never without so much as a correction um, and I'm, I'm wondering what would trigger one I know that's simplistic but but could it be a black swan development? Could it be something, you know, we're just getting word, for example, that Iran has fired a torpedo in the Strait of Hormuz? Something outside of the expectation game. Uh, yeah, most definitely something like that. But look, for me, we still have the easiest monetary policy in the history of time. In Europe, there are negative half percent interest rates, as well as printing a trillion dollars. Japan's printing a trillion. That's what's doing the trick right here. That's why valuations are higher. If any of that gets rolled back, then I start to worry. Just because we're raising rates here, for me, doesn't mean too much. And by the way, as far as the Facebooks, uh, they're just dominant forces. When you have two billion people looking at you, uh, Mark Zuckerberg use the words anchor content. If he can get anchor content on there, people will stay longer, uh, chance for much more revenues, win-win uh, for these, uh, I call them Goliaths of technology right now, and they just keep getting bigger and bigger. When you're talking anchor content, you're talking not, not like TV anchor type. <laughs> yeah, new, new shows. No, yeah, I, that, I, you I, too. I, I, I just <laughs> All right.